I'll bring it back. mimosa but it, it's a private mimosa yeah, that's <laughs> they are selling these chalices over there they're hand yeah handmade yes and then um, the girl right there in the center with the green top has the warm kolaches oh, oh they're so good so good y'all good this morning good I'm good I'm I'm a lot better today <laughs> Fifty vendors here today. We have everything from handmade products, antiques, vintage items, just some really cool stuff. Popcorn, we've got food vendors, and Bon Appetit y'all today is featuring, we're selling baked goods, and we are selling our fresh apple bundt cake, our sea salt caramel brownies, pumpkin cheesecake snickerdoodle bars, caramel apples, and something else I can't even remember it's been so fun so we wanted to feature some desserts that brought the taste of fall to all of these people here today and we could not be more excited about all the people who have come out today all of the people that are enjoying all of these vendors purchasing sitting around having lunch together in the backyard it's it's just been great so one of the things that we do as Bon Appetit y'all for the Vintage Barn Sale is we, um, we have a booth where we feature um, some desserts that we love to sell um, at the Vintage Barn Sale. One of the things we're going to feature this weekend is our fresh apple nut cake. Love this recipe. I've had this recipe for probably 30 years. Um, that's telling my age a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it came from a a resort in Arkansas called the Red Apple Inn and they're famous for their desserts for their apple cake and I literally have used this recipe for for that long so the only thing that I wanted to touch base on um, about this cake is anytime you know in baking once again the steps and how you do it is what's most important you can take all the ingredients and you can have one person um, bake a cake and another person bake a cake with the same ingredients and they come out totally different. It's about um, the chemistry of the steps that you take. So um, you always want to start with your wet ingredients first. And when I say wet ingredients, you're going to, um, you know, that includes your apples, your eggs, your oil. Um, and anytime you're doing wet ingredients, you want to incorporate sugar into those ingredients first. Sugar, when I'm baking, is not considered, I consider it a, a, a wet ingredient because um, you want that sugar to dissolve with the, the wet ingredients that you've got working. So I'm combining my oil, eggs, and apple um, as my wet ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead um, and then add my sugar. You dissolve that sugar down into your wet ingredients. Then with your dry ingredients, you know, you start with your flour and add in your baking soda, and this is apple pie spice and cinnamon, and I combine all of those dry ingredients into in together before I incorporate them into my wet ingredients. So, you know, it's simple steps, but they do make a difference um, in baking. So, so once you've got your eggs incorporated down and your sugar is dissolved into your wet ingredients, and you can use a mixer for this um, or hand, hand stirred. This is a bundt cake, so therefore bundt cakes is not, um, you don't have to, it's not exact science with a bundt cake. Um, we also call them dump cakes. So, but the only thing that is important is making sure um, that your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients are combined correctly. 
So once we um, combine these dry ingredients into these wet ingredients, we'll add our, um, our nuts and it can go directly into the bunt pan. It's that simple. Um, the apples, I will say, you know, if you have a food processor, it's very quick to just chop your apples down. I even leave the skins on them and uh, chop them into some big chunks and throw them in my food processor and then um, just pulse pulse and my apples are done. At the store we'll chop down you know three or four dozen apples in one day and bag them and put them in the freezer so that they're ready for our recipes that we make there at the store. So that's it. We're ready to go in the oven. It's that simple and this is definitely the taste of fall. Um, when I get ready for fall, more than I'm more of an apple girl than I am a pumpkin girl. This is one of the very first things that I bake whenever fall comes on. And so to me, it's the perfect recipe, the perfect thing to be serving at our fall vintage barn sale. 350 for about an hour, and we're ready to go. Love that pillow. No, we decided we're gonna have um, vintage barn sale t-shirts made that say on the front of it, it is what it is. Oh, okay, that's I'll it. do that. That's it. that's it, that's it, that's, that's it. it. One. Okay. <gasps> hey, thank you for coming. Well, of course. Yeah. Like it's going girl. Look, boot it up. Oh, hey y'all, at one of the vendors. No, oh my yeah, I just gosh. took the tag off of it and I gave it to her and I said, I'll be back later to pay you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at my So, two years ago, Ricky and I were looking for a new house. We were looking for a project. And um, acreage and being out in the country was not even on our radar at all. And we had three different house deals fall through. I was so discouraged. And we just were praying about what it was that God wanted us to do. And this property came up for sale and I called my sister who's a real estate agent and we came and looked at it. The house was 1,600 square feet. The house is 100 years old. And I pulled up into the driveway and I knew this was our home. We um, spent 10 months refurbishing and rebuilding this homestead. Within three months of moving in, is when the dream for all of this began. Um, having the vintage barn sale grew um, out of a dream from six years ago when I had gone to a fair like this before, and I didn't, you know, really have on my radar that I would do this, but I just thought it was would be a great dream. And so Ricky and I moved in, and with three month, within three months, we were planning our first barn sale. So our first barn sale was last fall. Here we are at our third sale, and I'm telling you, I just. I feel so blessed and so just overwhelmed by the response and the sweetness of all the people that are coming from all over Texoma, Oklahoma, um, Denton, down from Dallas. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing how this is, has blossomed and grown from us just pulling up and seeing a little farmhouse that needed some love. And um, so now this is what we have. We, we are so excited today to have thousands of people at our home, at our farm, to um, bring to them antiques, vintage products, handmade products, um, fresh baked goods, food trucks, and live music going on in the backyard. Um, just, it's a beautiful day, and we're just so thankful. It's just, it's been a wonderful day.